close your eyes and make up your mind you're going to stay with the breath. This making up your mind is an important part of the practice. What do you mean when we say that? Well, you've got lots of different parts of the mind. Some of them are pushing in one direction, some of them are pushing in the other direction. You've got to get them pointed all in the same direction if you want to accomplish anything in life, it's especially with the meditation, but anything at all in life. If you want to do something good, you have to make up your mind. That means you have to realize that any stray voices in the mind that have other opinions have to be reasoned with and sometimes have to be pushed out. If they listen to reason, you can reason with them. If they don't listen to reason, you've just got to push them out and say, look, I'm not going there. This is much better. Make sure that the reasonable parts of your mind are in charge. And then you stay true to that original determination. Each time you breathe in, each time you breathe out, you're going to stay right here. It's going to require some discernment to figure out how to make yourself happy to stay right here. This is why we focus on making the breath comfortable while we meditate. Have a sense of refreshment as we breathe. Which parts of the body need to be refreshed right now will give them some extra breath energy. As for anything that gets in the way, you have to remind yourself of your original intention, which was to stay right here, get the mind under control. Because as the Buddha said, the self is its own mainstay. But if you can't control yourself, you have no mainstay at all. You can say you have the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha as your mainstay, but if you don't follow their teachings, it's just words. And the only way to follow their teachings is to get some control over your own mind. So find a wise way of exercising yourself some control. In other words, you don't just try to beat the mind down. You make it realize that this is a really good place to be a really good thing to be doing. It's like when you're generous. Some people see only that the things you had are no longer yours anymore. But when you talk to yourself, you realize, okay, you've learned, learned a lot, you've gained a lot by being generous. And the same with holding to the precepts. If you know how to talk to yourself, you realize, okay, you, you gain a lot by holding yourself back from doing some things that you might want to do that will go against the precepts. Because you realize it isn't your long-term best interest. And it's the same with the meditation. Learn how to talk to yourself to make yourself want to meditate. To see the benefits that come from it. The mind has settled down, the mind has a good place to stay. It's not jumping around all the time. It's a mind that can live with itself. So few people in the world right now can live with themselves. That's why they're constantly engaged in distraction, looking at their phones, looking at their iPads, looking at their whatever. Because they can't live with themselves. But then as they're trying to run away from themselves, they have to keep coming back, coming back. So learn how to stay here and straighten things out inside. Make up your mind. And you find that it becomes a place where it really is good to stay. You can live with yourself. You're happy to be here. And you realize that the longer you stay here, the more you learn.